extraordinary day in East London. In an unprecedented move, President Mandela utilized the 20th anniversary of Steve Biko's death to call for national unity. What I want to know is why we cannot unite, whatever the name is. Why is that we cannot work together as one organization? We may call it the African National Congress. We may call it a ZAPO. We may call it the IFP. We may call it any name that we want. What I want them to answer, why are we not working together? He called the leaders of the PAC, IFP and ZAPO to the stage and asked them to commit themselves to this cause. There is no reason why we can work together. Absolutely not. A large constituency of Azapu supporters threatened to disrupt proceedings at the City Hall, but the President reprimanded them in schoolmaster fashion. We have had here rowdy, undisciplined, raw children trying to undermine a great occasion of this nature. And yet, I nevertheless still love them. The President said each leader should know when to quit. But he insisted that he would like to see both his and Biko's dreams of a more human South Africa fulfill before he retires. Something he's not doing just yet. He was up early this morning and his first stop was in Mpenge home in King Williamstown. Later he paid his respects at the graves of Griffiths and Victoria Mpenge. Then it was time to honour the man for whom this day was put aside. I have never had that the honour of meeting alive. Steve Mr. Mandela also visited the Biko residence before departing for the day's most important event, the unveiling of the statue. And it was here that the significance of Steve Bantu Biko's legacy was most evident. Today is not just a day for, you know, for Steve Biko, it's a day um, uh, for all those people who suffered in the, you know, the struggle, uh, the struggle for freedom. The crowds could not be contained when the country's most important person arrived and paid homage to one of the country's biggest heroes. His hope in life and his life of hope are captured by his resounding words, and I quote: "In time, we shall be in a position." to bestow on South Africa the greatest possible gift, a more human face. The John Foster Bridge outside East London was also renamed the Steve Biko Bridge, yet another testimony to the fact that Steve Biko may be gone, but definitely not forgotten. Tosha Kruger, SABC, East London.